Hi, my name's Diana Dahlia, and I'm here to interview Sandra Bullock, not the actress Sandra Bullock. This is um, the model Sandra Bullock. She's also a disabled model, and she's a very inspiring lady. She's also going to talk about how she got into the industry, and um, about photography, and posing, and everything else. I really hope you enjoy this interview, because I thoroughly enjoyed interviewing her. Enjoy, Sandra Bullock. My name is Diana Dahlia. Thank you. Uh, I started modeling when I was seven years old, and um, I started it's like uh, this very small city in Brazil. I'm from Brazil, and uh, and it's uh, it's the friends of my mom. I was seven, and I was very tall. They asked me to to, to help them in fashion shows and catalog, you know, and uh, so they need the kids. And I was I, I started that time, so it's like I enjoy a lot to make this fashion show. And after that, I I started to make some courses, some um, things in Brazil like four courses, makeup and um, a fashion show, catalog, all this kind of thing, and modeling, how to take pictures, and uh, so that. So I started modeling. It's most of my jobs until I was 14 and I had my accident was uh, really cut out. And so all this was in Brazil? It was in, oh, in Brazil, in the south of Brazil. And, uh, and I, I used to have really... Used to it's close most of the time, you know, some, yeah, close. But it's uh, all the things more, it's fashion things. All fashion things, you know, when you come for the catalog, because it's, it's, yeah, it's clothes and uh, some like uh, some glasses, uh, the, yeah. How did, you, how did you get into modeling? Was it your mom that put you forward, or did you get scouted, or? No, no, she, 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 she introduced me when, like, uh, I, I made this fashion show for her friends that had the shop and oh. the kids, and, but after this, I, I enjoy a lot to do this, and uh, so I start, to, I, I went to myself, I asked her, and uh, the first that I made, the only to have my, I used to have ballet as well, so it's like to have my posture, and uh, to walk properly, you know, so I, I made a course, it's the second one, so I started to get high and mm -hmm. I, was, I was tall. Things, it's, the things, I don't know, they flew, you know. The, okay. it starts. What happened after that? Yeah, I stopped, I stopped when I was 14 because I had my accident. 14? 14, and, uh, 14 years old. And I had my accident, so I stopped really. And I said, okay. You know, this is not my life. You know, in that time, I already proposed to come here to to, to Europe to make a fashion show here, I, and uh, I could accept because I was already in the chair. And uh, I said, okay, it's not more my life. And I started working in politics in Brazil. So I sorry, started working in politics. Politics. Oh, okay. Sorry. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I did work in politics there until I was 26. So I started to play tennis, huge right. tennis, you know, and uh, I was very happy that it's Whilst so you're in your wheelchair, you're playing tennis? Yes, wheelchair tennis player, yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, so I was 26. So I became the number one from Brazil. So I started to travel a lot in the States, and Argentina, Chile, and all those things. And um, is the people start to ask me to make pictures for to sell chairs, to sell clothes for disabled people. I start with pictures, you know, for magazines, some interviews, some kind of this this world, you know. And it's, and when I, I saw, I was because I used to play tennis before. I started when I was nine years old too. So twelve years after this, my accident, I, I was doing the same thing. Same thing again, but in I a did different. I did in a yes. different way, you know. Yeah. It's like I did when I was a boy. I used to modeling and I used to play tennis. And after fourteen, my twenty-six, I was playing tennis again. Uh, and um, it's like history modeling, you know. Yeah. yeah. So what happened with the, um, you said you, you took lots of photographs with a lot of the, uh, with different types of photographers? Yeah, yeah, always, you know, when you travel, you have some, it's Brazil. You 
travel a lot to some different photographers and so would you say that you're quite experienced in knowing what a good photographer is and what's a bad photographer? Yeah. Okay, what, what sort of things you do have you notice? situations that you have the same, you, like I'm here, I have two photographers, you know, and the result is totally different. Do you know what I mean? It's like one photographer takes wonderful pictures and another one you, you look is like, oh gosh, how he could get this angle, this is my horse angle, it's uh, the horrible pictures and and they are, not, they, they are shooting the same time. But you can actually tell the minute you walk into a room if a photographer is going to take good pictures of you or, or bad pictures. Is that what you're saying? Uh, you, you, can. Of your you can. You can. You mm can. -hmm. You know, it's like when he, he comes and is, is already say what he wants for you, and it's like, look, I want to, to show you some. You know, it's like, uh, so he will get me, not the chair. But I want someone, I want to show uh, you like disabled, you know, as disabled people. So he, will, he comes and you get the chair. Or I want to uh, take the picture of uh, your hair or your sunglasses or I don't know. But he, he direct you. And, and I know my uncles as well, you know. You it's, do? It's, what are your best uncles? You know, uh, it's always, uh, you know, it doesn't get the hair, yeah, it always gets... The left wrong. side? The right side? <laughs> I, guess, I guess the left. Right. Okay. My left, you know, you get... Yeah, you already got my best one. <laughs> it's got your best side. That's not he's got your best side. That's you know, right. maybe. Yeah. What, what do you think? You know, I think it's this one. Maybe it's this one. Yeah. And, um, and he comes, and the photographer comes, and you know what he's supposed to do. And you know, it's, it's, and he leaves you confidence and makes you to feel relaxed. And it's, it's always a combination of things, you know. Mm. He, he, he needs to be confident in it. So allowed you to be you. yourself and could and express express you and know, what you what he needs is you need to be sad you need to be how you need to be you know. Do you know the the difference between um, a fashion photographer, a landscape couture, uh, or a portrait photographer? Have you experienced Gosh, a different yeah, types? Yeah, this oh, is really? yeah. I, I try to make some pictures if a uh, yeah. I, I used to say like a wedding photographer. You mm. know, it's like they only know the same poses all the time, and he wants to do something different. They say no, no, this not, this not doesn't work, and he tries to make something. Or I guess because this is like a studio, and they always work with the same light, with the same kind of situation or wedding or something. So it's like. Put your hand here. Do something. It's always the same pose. That's with it's the always the same. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. the studio ones that they only you know work in that kind of situation. And it's the difference when you work with a fashion photographer. You you go for different places. You go for inside of the bus. You go to the street. You go to the river. You go to the beach. You location. go to different mm -hmm. location. It's different types of lights. It's different positions. You know, you need to put your your hair here. Your your you know. Your hand, your hair, you need to work positions and all things. And this is different, it's much more. Um because you do much more different things, you know. Mm -hmm. and so, would you say you're pretty good at poses now in front of the camera? Because you've been modeling from seven, haven't you? So, you're, you're pretty good at the poses now. I I, I like to play, you know. It's well, funny. The yeah, it's funny. You you need to enjoy what you're doing, and in front of the camera you play and you you have fun and you make your poses and you know your angles and I guess they are not the things they feel natural, you know, because it is that. It's not much more than this. Why why did you choose modeling? I don't know. I guess it's it's I love. It's something you know. If it's, it's something that is. is is you something you know why I can tell you is like I, I do play tennis and I'm not to play basketball mm. and I was very tall yes as and, well. and, yeah. and you know it's like um, I, 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 I'm very tall because I'm sitting now you know but see it's uh, I never played basketball and I don't like basketball and everyone say you need to play basketball you know it's like and when I had uh, when I did stay in the chair everyone say you need to play basketball I said I, I didn't play before 
when I was able to go, why I need to play now yeah. that I'm in the chair? It's like, it's, I, have, I, I think it's like my, my life has a sense, you know? It's like, I used to play tennis before, and I play tennis now. I used to modeling before, and I, it's, it's the things I used to like before, I'm still like, and I'm still doing. And I, I didn't like play basketball when I, when I was able to go, why should I play basketball? No. Only be, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't like. Mm -hmm. So it's like, because I'm in the chair, mm -hmm. no. You know, mm -hmm. it's like so. Model, I guess it's. Uh, I I love to play with colors, uh, makeup. You know, it's Good like things. you know these kind of things, and you do yeah. your hair and yeah. lipstick. You know, it's yeah. when you are kids. And let me ask you this: um, You've why did you choose Zebra Models as a, a model agency for yourself? I can't tell you. It's it's. Um, it's the things in life they happen, you know. It's not you choose. Mm -hmm. and sometimes some people choose you, and this mm -hmm. is the best thing in their life when the things match. And uh, and how did you get chosen? Yeah, how when I chosen? came to, I, when I came here to London, it was two years and a half ago, something like this. I tried to work here, but my English wasn't good enough. Of things now I'm improve my English. It's too is not very English good. is good. <laughs> it's getting better. It's getting better. <laughs> And uh, I sent my book, uh, my portfolio for some agents here, and uh, I had like, no, 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 no. Oh, you really? know, it's like so a lot, lot of no. knockbacks. And it's, it's not, it's like, I don't work with disabled people, or I only work with girls between 14 and 21. You know, it's like I have, it's, it, and what's the point? It's like, you can't give up, you need to keep. You know, and um, I had another agent that they only work with uh, disabled people, but this is only disabled people that work in these other agents. And when I sent my portfolio for Zebra, the first thing, the first answer that I had is like, okay, you are welcome. And I was like, wow, the first agency, and uh, I can't tell, it's like that disabled body agent that accept a disabled people mm. is a kind of integration. It's uh, it, it's amazing because it's like you don't need to have this segregation. Say you are disabled, you need to have something special. Or you are you, you can do the, the same work together. You know, it's like when someone uh, come for the agency, they ask someone brunette, blonde, uh, fat, blue eyes. That it's having the merit. They, they they know what they want. You know, and uh, why not? Have the disabled people there, you know, and the zebra was uh, amazing, and I was so happy that uh, I could. It's like after a long time, it's like I feel inside of the market again, you know. It's like I'm feel working like uh, you're not like mm -hmm. yeah, like you know. It's like I was. I don't know how to say. It's like I'm a real model, you know. It's like I'm accepted again in the society. Yeah, they you are don't integration. Feel it's like it's not a, yeah, yes. you are not. You are the disabled people. When yes. you want some disabled, you come there and you choose you. No, I'm here. I'm like you, and you are fighting for the same jobs, you know. And it's someone you choose me or you choose you. So it's it's. Oh, that's that's, that's I'm, nice. You know, you feel yeah. much more in the. Real life accepted, yeah. In the yeah. So, 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 so. yeah. Okay, and um, how do you, as a model, <laughs> take care of yourself? Oh, uh, I it's, it's like I told you, I, I never stop. You know, it's like so. I drink plenty of water. To, yeah. like how many? Two, when you say water, how three, much? Uh, it depends, because it's like, uh, like I told you, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm disabled, so I have some things that is like I need to do different, you know. So when I'm outside of my home, I can't drink three liters of water because it's not all um, toilets that they are accessible, yeah. you know. So it's like you need to, to know where you are, how the things you, and but when I'm in my home, I drink like three, four liters of water. Easy, easy, you know. It's like I'm. All yeah. the time, and uh, I I love to, to, to my hair. For example, it's like I go to the to the to the gym, so they have the steam there. Mm -hmm. So I put some creams in my hair, some nice creams, <laughs> and I go to steam. That is the right help. Mm -hmm. I used to put honey in my face. It does some do some exfoliation like two times per week, and. Um, 
I have one day per week that I'm trying on, I have liquids, there's n nothing uh, that can mm -hmm. intervene, you know, it's like only liquids, uh, jewels uh, and uh, all things, I do eat a lot of salad, fish, I do, it's like I do care of myself, you know, it's like I'm, I have physiotherapy every day, I'm, I'm yeah. disabled, you know, it's like it's, I need to have someone to move my legs to, to help me, you know, and uh, this is disabled life, you know. If you have something, you know, you need to brush your teeth every day, and uh, I need to have physiotherapy every day, forever. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I don't have someone, I need to do by myself. Of course. You and seem pretty good at just taking care of things yourself. I, I, I notice you're, you're very um, independent. Yeah, I, I, I try, you know, have some things that you I, I can do, and uh, it's, it's more, let's say, uh, for example, if you go to supermarket, there's something is very high. I can't get. I can't uh, reach. Yeah, reach. <laughs> and uh, so I ask someone, please, could you? Mm -hmm. you, you know, it's it's normal. It's I'm life. Sure I'm not going to say no. I you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the point. It's like is you don't need to be um, disabled for. Sometimes you need help in your life. You know, you can. You, 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 sometimes maybe. You are able to borrow something and you need something that you need to ask some help, I don't know. And it's um... Do people, are they quite um, accommodating when they see you? I mean, I'm sure when they meet you, because you're, you're very beautiful, and it's like they're trying to connect the two when they first meet you. When they first meet sometimes, they, they, they don't understand. They think they have something wrong. Oh, really? And uh, because it's... For most of the people, disabled people, they need to be ugly, to be, you know, have the, and uh, to be in chair and to be in big chairs and to be with care. And uh, I had another time I was in the tube in Expedition. The guy said, "What are you doing here alone?" I said, "I am born alone. What did you say? I'm here." He, he said, asked "No, you, you should to be with your carer." I said, "I don't have a carer, you know." He said, "No, a stranger, a stranger." A stranger said no, 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 it's the guy that works in the tube, you know, because oh. I was there to try right. to get the on the tube. You're trying yeah. to get on the tube because mm -hmm. I had to meet in the center of London, and I was there. A bridge accessible. I went there, and the guy said, "No, you need to be with your carer." I said, "I don't have a carer, you know." So, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, and they, they, they think that it doesn't match, you know, how is some some girl that sits, you know, it looks nice, all the things are in the chair. If you need to be in the chair, you need to be look ugly and to be, you know, and it doesn't matter, you know, if you care yourself. You, I, I always like to put some gloss, paint a little bit, you know, your eyes and some yeah, heavy earrings, you know, I, it, it's it's me. It's, it's not something, and always, I, I always like it to do this. And, I, I, I like to, to look nice, you know, it's something that is it. So what are you hoping for in the future? I mean, now you're with Zebra Models and you seem very proactive. You're just going to get on with it. I can see that in you. <laughs> what's, what's the future for you? What are you hoping to do? Look, I hope this integration of things go through, you know, and, uh, and I love to be in Katalk, to be in you know, take pictures, and uh, I guess it's, when, when you work in the things that you like, you know, it doesn't have how you not to be happy, and, and it's, you know, it's like you are working here, but you are having a shot, and you are having fun, and uh, this is the point, you need to enjoy your life, it's a matter if you, you know, in the future, I, I look bright, you know, it's, uh, the future is bright. <laughs> yeah, yeah. say light <laughs> and the end of the truth. <laughs> because it's, uh, you know, the people start to have much more awareness about yes. the things that is it. Is that what you're hoping to do? You want to make people more aware that, you know, people like yourself in a chair can work, can do the same thing as everybody else. They can else. work, you know, it's like, it's, so it's a, the only thing I, I, I really don't agree is like, it's not because you are in the chair and uh, you, you are model. No. You need to be prepared for this. I'm, I'm preparing myself since I was seven. I mm -hmm. take the mirror, I look, I know my pose, I, I make diet, you know, it's like I don't, I don't need to monitor. I try it, I make my diet, I care of myself. So, so it's like, so I'm a model because I, I learned how to make up myself, how to do, 
So it's a, I'm a model, no, I work for this, I make course for to be a model. It's not because I'm in the chair, I want, you know, it's not like this, it's a, ah, okay, I, I like uh, law, so I'll be a lawyer. No, you know, it's you have the, the you need to, to be a model, you need to learn to be a model, you know. So you have this uh, process, and I guess it's like, I mean, I'm a model, and I'm, I'm, I'm work this, and I'm in the market, you know, so... Is what I want to do, and I guess if you, the same people you want to be a model, try, you know. Why yeah. not? Live, you can live home and make no. some courses. I see you being very successful because you know you, uh, you're going to make sure that you are, which is good, very positive. I wish you all the best, Sandra. I mean, Samantha, I really do wish you all the best. And uh, okay. thank you for coming along and speaking to us. No, thank you. No, you're welcome. Really... Good luck. No, thank you.